I got a phone call one day from uh, a friend of the Ortega family named Sherry Castle, um, and she told me a little bit about what happened with the Ortega's daughter, Anna. Anna Ortega had been diagnosed with brain cancer, and it was inoperable. They had to pursue alternative treatments, uh, which were not covered by insurance. So they had a tremendous cost burden that they were facing. We picked a day to do a fundraiser. The day of the event, we expected a good turnout, but we were very overwhelmed with the, just the sheer number of people that came. The walk-up line was probably at least 100 people deep, 40 to 50 cars in the drive through consistently during the course of the day. All said and done, we brought in about $6,800 in sales. So we donated half of that to the family and donation buckets brought in an additional $4,800. One of my favorite moments of the night was when a friend of the family FaceTimed with the Ortegas and Anna and, and her family were able to see the long lines here and, and the crowd was cheering hope for Anna. Hope for Anna! Hope for Anna! Hope for Anna! When we try to be more than just a business, we try to be part of the community, it can be a place where the community rallies together. Seeing the smiles, seeing the hugs, seeing the tears, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. We had a couple here that uh, were making party pack kits for us and they couldn't keep up with the demand. And their son-in-law worked for a company and the name of that company is Marion Moss. They hired people uh, with disabilities, top functioning. They just did little projects, counting, assembling. So basically what we did, we, we provided them with all the little, little pieces, umbrellas, spoons, caps, labels, lids everything that goes into the party pack. The people that, that work there at Marion Moss, they thrive on these kind of things. Uh, just knowing that they have to, everything has to be the exact the same, and if it's not, it, it throws them off and everything has to be the same. Every year, Marion Moss has a employee banquet. For the last two years, I had the privilege to go, and one of the things that was really neat, they have uh, awards for the employee of the year. And that very first year Chris and I went, uh, the employee of the year was this young lady, uh, I don't recall her name, but one of the jobs that she, she had and was her favorite thing to do was to count out spoons and umbrellas for Bahama Bucks. It was really meaningful that, you know, we were able to contribute to, you know, her happiness and some of her purpose. You know, she went every day and she, she just loved uh, counting out spoons and umbrellas. You know, Marion Moss has opened my eyes to see that, you know, there's, there's people with handicaps and disabilities out there that, you know, they, they want to have a purpose in life. They, uh, they enjoy, you know, contributing to society in any way, uh, making a paycheck. You know, everybody needs a job, have a purpose, and, you know, one of their purposes there is to make party pack kits for Bahama Bucks. Well, it has not been easy, honestly, after hurricane. Second hurricane hit us, it was, it was a great devastation. The store was pretty much damaged. I started visiting employees, not only to ask them to come to work, obviously, but to make sure they were okay, they were alive. When I managed to get a couple of them together, we pray in front of the store. Every single employee helped us clean the store. Every single employee went the extra mile. As soon as we opened, my first reaction was to bring snow to first responders. So we started looking for cops, ambulance, firefighters, everywhere. And we bring the snow. We went to every street light that had a cop helping and we bring to each cup is snow every day for like a month or so. They were very grateful. They even sent us a letter saying thanks from the mayor. We set up an area for people to charge their phones and to fill FEMA documents. 
and that obviously uh, bring more people but our idea was more to help than, than getting people actually. I did find a surfboard almost a mile away from the store. I decided to, to take it back and we put it in front of the store with a sharpie and people start writing very nice stuff like Puerto Rico strong, we're gonna get out of this, God is with us, and a lot of very nice things. It is definitely an honor for us to be part of Bahama Box. There's no better way to resume all this than saying that Bahama Box Puerto Rico is blessed to be part of this great family.